Waiting for my connecting train at Atlantic Avenue Pacific Street. So I think my train's gonna get here within the next um, six minutes. So it's not too bad. It's just really hot waiting on the platform. I do wish that they had air conditioning on the platform level. But I do suppose this is sort of like London in that it's hot and humid on the platform. Looks like this is my stop now. So this is the stop that I would get off to go back to my house on um, 59th Street. There are two tracks, one for the R train, which is the local, and then one for the N train, which is express. So then there's one going either, like two going both directions. Um, this is a fairly big and airy um, station. Um, and right now they have these timings behind me that show what times the train would arrive. So I think that that is such an improvement from the way that it was back in the day. Well, I am walking back to where I grew up and it's a bit of a pilgrimage of some sorts. I haven't been here for about three and a half, almost four years. So it is going to be quite good to see what it's like and to see my folks again. So yeah, I am looking forward to all of this and let's hope I don't get emotional. So this is the block that I would walk up and down so many times to go catch the subway into the city or for the school or for work. So this does bring back a lot of memories and not much has changed. Maybe only the owners have changed, but pretty much things are the same. So these are some of my old stomping grounds. This is 7th Avenue and 60th Street. It is rather built up. There is lots of eateries, Savories, sweet eateries, pastries, lunch places, um, regular grocery stores, all Chinese or Chinese themed. And this is one of the vibrant Chinatown areas in Brooklyn. So it is rather nostalgic to walk down memory lane and to see I think new businesses spring up so I think that's a good thing and here are all these local papers that that you could buy I think I've come to Lucky Veg house before 
No, I don't think so. This was something else back then. This bakery that we're coming up to seems seems good. Lots of fresh Swiss rolls and also sweet pastries. I can't believe there is a hotel near where I used to live. It's so strange. I never would have guessed that 8th Avenue would have something like that. But yeah, it looks like times are changing for the better. Across the road is a Feilong Market. This is where you would come to do one of your weekly shops. Uh, to get your essential Chinese ingredients and also things from the butchers, things from the fishmongers, um, a lot of Chinese type of cuisine type of ingredients. So I've visited there a couple of times before. It wasn't there back when I was growing up. None of this area was too revitalized i think it just goes to show that whenever you move away from somewhere things are developed which can be a good thing a bad thing it's just a thing this is where i was born the building behind me was a hospital called St. Vincent's Hospital. It was closed in 2010 and the new hospital is called Lenox Health right now. So it is sad to see it close because I thought that it had a bright future because I did come out of it. So, but I do guess that things change and things evolve so it only makes sense but I am really but I am really glad that we got a chance to revisit where I was born so yeah take it in people it is such a magnificent building don't you think The building behind me is the Supreme Court of New York. You might be thinking, why is Paul showing us this right now? Well, interesting fact about me is that I did a couple of internships here back when I was in high school. I think I was like grade 9 or 10. I don't remember how old I was, maybe 14, 15 or something. Um, but yeah, I did like, uh, I think I was like there for like maybe two months. Uh, so it was basically like a work experience type thing, but then you got paid to learn things about this and other places that took part in the summer scheme. But yeah, this was one of the first places that I worked. Um, it was very interesting. I don't remember everything that I did, but this is, 
this is where they heard cases, they made motions, it was sort of like LA order, or is it called that or is it called something else? Law and order. The, the show is law and order. So yeah, this is the courthouse and I did work here for a short amount of time. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you all right now. Well, I am visiting my old college that I went to called Baruch College. It was in three different locations, one on 18th Street, one on 23rd Street and Lexington. And then there was the library on 25th and then they built this building right here as, as a result as well. And then they consolidated all the other buildings into this one massive building across the street from the library building. I stand corrected. Baruch College is also on 23rd Street as well on Lexington. I had many good memories here and they formed some of my formative years so that's always a good thing as well. The building behind me is the newly built building on 25th Street and I think I only had maybe a couple of classes back in the day and it was magnificent and it was modern it was up to date I can only imagine what it is right now but yeah this is my old alma mater um, Peru College some really good years and yes It feels weird visiting Baruch College after 20 years. Um, not, there have been changes, I'm sure, but I am proud to have come to school here. And so it's great to revisit and to see what's happened. This 25th Street has become pedestrianized now, which is something we didn't have before. So, back when I worked in New York on Madison Avenue, I would always come to Central Park during my lunch break and I would take like a a lunch break here in order to get away from the hustle and bustle of the office and it was a good way to distress and get close to nature I guess and to just enjoy the marvelous atmosphere look around